yeah. Well, now it makes sense. But what about you, Scrap? What did your manager do? You were a hell of a fighter, a lot better than Willie. He gets you a title fight, or did he just bust you out, banging your head against other people's fists until you lost your eye? I had my shot. I went out swinging, and no man can say I didn't. That's a million-dollar baby, which she finally, eventually, won an Academy Award for. You must have been thinking, when the hell do I get one of these things? No, that's what for. <laughs> what was the movie before that where you felt most like, this is the one, I'm going to get an Oscar for this? And didn't. Driving Miss Daisy? Yeah. yeah. Well, that was scandalous. Well, that's what everybody says, Oscar. but I, really, I did, I did, but I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't, and it, I didn't have an argument when Daniel Day-Lewis got it. No, because he Because I saw right. my left foot, and it was like, wow, you know? But so, you get to a point when you've made all these movies, and you still have them on one, you, you start to think, I'm never going to win an Oscar. You know, I changed, I changed my approach mentally. I decided, okay, let's forget about winning an Oscar, and let's see how many times you can get nominated. Because <laughs> he's been nominated five, six times, haven't he? Five times. Yeah. And there is that kind of always the bridesmaid, never the bride yeah. scenario. It yeah. starts to yeah. Yeah. lurk yeah. in your head. Right? But then after a while, you, you know, I, I think there's, there's some value in just being nominated. I used to always say, is, you know, it, once you win it, that's it, you're done. Mm. But as long as you can get nominated, you are almost going to say, you know, it's this guy's been up here for, it's like Paul Newman, how many times, you know? Uh -huh. How many times you're nominated and you don't win? Uh, Peter O'Toole, uh -huh. he probably got more nominations than anybody in history. Never won. When you heard the magical words, winner Morgan Freeman, honestly, what were you thinking when you heard that? Do you want the truth? They want to make something up. The truth. I knew it. Really? Yeah. See, uh, to me, an Academy Award is for Best Actor. Best Supporting Actor is a runner-up prize. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't count, it? It, it? it does, because people can still say you won an Academy Award. But to yeah. you, you still need to win the Best Actor. Well, as right. I said, I would much prefer to be nominated now for Best Actor. Do you think that one of the things that c continues to drive you to work so hard? Because no. you don't need to. No, 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 no. I mean, awards you'll get if you're good enough or if you get, if you get a pep public's attention. But no, working is working. It's, it's just that. I always wanted to be in the movies. I'm in the movies. I want to stay, keep doing it. That's why I enjoy it a lot. I want to play you a clip from my favorite Morgan Freeman movie. It's no great secret because we've touched on this earlier. Let's watch this. There's something inside that they can't get to, that they, they can't touch. It's yours. Redemption, I mean, a brilliant movie, and we've discussed it. I mean, written by Stephen King. That's right, it was, yeah. When you saw the script for Shawshank Redemption, mm -hmm. do, do you know instantly now what is a good and bad script? Can you tell us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the same way with you reading a book. Page one, sometimes, you're, you're hooked, you know, that this is, this is going to be great. It's, just, it's all about writing, you know. Well, what hooks you in writing? Just somebody's ability to put words together and, 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 and uh, create imagery. And when you see Red saying hope is a dangerous thing, is that Morgan Freeman about the Oscar for Best Actor? <laughs> Did you relate to him? <laughs> Actually, no, you know. Um, but, but you could say that if you had a real quirky twist of your mind. I heard, I heard the filming on Shawshank Redemption was quite edgy. It yeah. wasn't an easy, but why was that? Well, you have different reasons um, for that. Um, if you have issues with the direction, that it's going to get edgy. And you did? Yeah. Why? Well, I like directors that listen to me. I like for them, if I, if I say something, I say it because 
I know what I'm talking about pretty much. And a lot of the directors that I have worked with uh, know that and respond to that. And if they don't, then I'm a little miffed. How don't would you come to me later on and say, you were right. How would you have changed it? How would I have changed? Sunshine Redemption. I wouldn't have changed a thing in it. I wouldn't. So did you finally get your way? Yes. But you had to have a battle. I had to have a battle. Can't get it to one point of just to say, no, I'm not doing that. Would you advise that for most actors, though? Or do you think you're in that rare if your category? instincts are telling you that, and you, when you read a script and they say, this is a character I want you to play, you want me to play the character. You, I'm the actor. I'm not a puppet. So don't let me come on set and you start giving me direction. I don't want it. I don't need it. You know? Who do you want to play the part? What will directors make of this when they watch this interview? What would directors say? Well, they think of what you're saying. Uh, well, I mean, they're they, 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 they all the good ones understand it. <laughs> <laughs> but they're going to take it from you because you're Morgan Freeman, but they're not going to take it from some lippy 25-year-old actor, are they? You want to encourage all actors to rise up against directors. No, I don't. I, but but I don't, I don't uh, encourage them to knock them under when you feel strongly that you are right about your character. I asked before the break, which is the movie you would make again? Not to change, but just to relive the experience for whatever reason. If you had a month to live, what would it be? Anything I did with Clint Eastwood. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, he's just great to work with. Uh, I've done three movies with him, and uh, they were all was good. Was Unforgiven, Invictus, and, and Million Dollar and Baby? Million Dollar Baby, yeah. And uh, I mean, when we finished you know, filming in Vegas, we all stood up and said, why don't we just start again? <laughs> it was so much fun. You know, you wouldn't look at a movie like that and think, gosh, those guys are having a great time. I mean, everybody. I'm going to feel like this in about 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Can you come on every month? Maybe bring your friend Clint. Well, that would be interesting. Yeah. You would, you would get a kick out of that. Come on with Clint. Yeah, I mean, if you get Clint, I'll come. Fantastic. Fantastic. We have not finished yet. Oh. When we come back after the break, I want to talk to you more about movies, okay. and in particular, your role in the Batman movies. Whoa, whoa.